Hey guys, what's up? We're back for more Let's Play Ratchet Deadlocked. Last time we began the Let's Play and we defeated our first arena battle. And this time we are going to continue on. Last time, uh, you know I ran out of ammo. I completely forgot that you started with a magma gun. For some reason I thought we had to buy that. And, uh, yeah, it kind of fucked me in the end because those little balls and, uh, those little green guys kept getting me, so... This time we're going to continue on to Catacomb, Catacomb 4, which is the first planet that we were able to go to. And uh, this, is, this isn't my favorite planet, but it is my least favorite planet either. So, we'll, uh, we'll get moving on. Let's get a move on. So, let's just watch this. As we kick off a brand new season of Dread Zone. That's right, Dallas. And we're lucky enough to have a bird's eye view of the action. Even from up here, this season's Dread Zone battle courses look bigger and deadlier than ever. It's a wonder contestants keep volunteering, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> volunteering, yeah, about that. The Vox construction team really outdid themselves in turning this once sacred robotic burial ground into a deadly Dread Zone battle core. And look, here comes today's first contestant. Oh my, they're really scraping the bottom of the barrel to find these guys, aren't they? <laughs> I hope you folks at home aren't too squeamish, because the next one looks like a bleeder. <laughs> Alright, so this is the first planet called Catacomb 4, um, I press select to switch buttons, and, uh, yeah, we'll continue on there. See, my dual vipers are already almost maxed out on the, uh, on the, uh, upgraded part, so we're gonna, we're gonna try and get the, uh, the, uh, the dual vipers, and, uh, or the magma cannon, we're gonna get the magma cannon to, uh, Get it upgraded a little bit. So we're gonna come over here. We gotta, we gotta get this guy with the EMP, and we're just gonna absolutely bang the shit out with the main cannon. Ugh, 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 ugh. All right, good shit. All right, so let's continue on. Uh, there's magma, or there's an ammo ball there. And uh, we don't, we don't need the health yet. So we're just gonna let's just take these guys down. What do you think you're doing, boy? What do you think you're doing, boy? You can't touch me. Alright, so this unit are also EMP grenades, so we also we have to EMP those to uh, jump across them. And this is also known as jump pad. There are plenty of these throughout the game. And look at that. We already completed the first challenge, so the beginning challenges are pretty easy. And uh, they, they do get very hard as we go along. So I'm still on the three-star level. Or the three star difficulty, so we gotta get the land stalker. Which is gonna require us to get a couple nodes, but that's okay. I think that nodes are just across the bridge. Alright, so here is a uh, vendor, so let's uh, max out our ammo. And we can almost buy the B6 obliterator. Uh, these cameras. You can blow up, so if you ever want to know that, we can blow the cameras up. So this is the first note I'm going to go after. Blow up already. Oh, what are you doing? You can't touch me. Alright, so we upgrade uh, level 2 dual vipers. Um, like I said in the previous episode, we have to get to level 10 before we can, uh... You can also do level 10, but the nice thing about this game is you can have your bots turn these nodes for you. Folks, just a reminder, tomorrow is kick your best friend in the pants day. Ha! Popcorn for everyone who participates. Here's a chilling thought. Team Alright, so let's get some ammo over here, get some of these bolts, blow this camera up. Blow this camera up. And uh, we'll continue on to the next node. Uh, these zombies just appear all out of nowhere, so they're kind of annoying. Uh, let's let's get over here so I can have my bots do this, and I can uh. Hopefully, I can get some more uh, health over here somewhere. 
Oh, wait, hey, you can't touch my box, dude. You can expand your map at any time to get a Oh, what the what the fuck? God damn it. That's so shitty, dude. All right, at least we don't have to start completely over. We can uh All you have to do is go get the other two nodes or the other node. This is definitely a good map if you want to uh You definitely want to upgrade your guns because all these zombies just come out of nowhere. It only takes about two shots to kill each one of them. And it takes about 15 shots from the dual vipers. Blow that up. What you doing, son? You can't touch me! You can't touch me! Are these things, uh, there is... I don't need, I don't need those. Of course it gives me health when I don't need it. Uh, my max maximum nanotech increase as you defeat enemies, you'll see the experience bar on the top of the screen start to start to level up. Um that Oh what the, what the fuck, dude? That's so dumb. I got hit twice and I already died. Get the hell out of here, camera. Oh, I should have bought more ammo. It's fine, we have the, uh, the mag can here. That'll, uh, that'll do some wonders, so let's go back in here. The mag can is pretty much like the shotgun. Oh my god! I'm getting anal raped. See, now I'm getting shot by shit I don't even know I'm getting shot by. I got two nanotech out of that. Serious game. Interesting fact, folks. Dread Zone started out with two guys fighting over a breakfast burrito. All right, so now we gotta get over here. Now we gotta somehow get over here. And there's more nanotech right there, so get that DMP grenade. Grab the nanotech and just go ham on this thing. Shaw be going ham. Really, that that took way longer than needed to. All right, so we're gonna capture this node. Uh, these things are called jackpot. We do that, and we get a whole bunch of bolts out of that. So we don't need to. We really don't need to worry about those guys this current second. But oh, now we do. Now we do. I I didn't know they could fly. I did not know they could fly. Uh, oh, fucking. No, I can't look. Is he still fucking hell, dude. Where the hell did that guy go? Oh my god! Oh my god, I literally might need to turn down the difficulty. I've not played this game in so freaking long. But the good thing is I can buy the B6 Obliterator now. So we're going to purchase that. We're also going to purchase the Acid Mod. And I'll teach you guys about mods right now. So, we can uh, set mods up to... There's Omega Mods and there's Alpha Mods. Omega Mods are like... The, uh... To modify a weapon, select the weapon you want and press X. You will see at the top of the screen the weapons which are available. All right, hold on. Where the hell is my uh? Just below. All right, so we have the acid mod, and we also have alpha mods, which is, like speed mod increases, rifle rate increases, aiming, and there are also many more mods that we will figure out during the game. And uh, this B6 obliterator literally kicks ass. So hopefully I don't I don't fuck up. See? Watch this thing. The acid mod gives continuous damage after you uh, defeat an enemy. So I don't even think I got that node in there. We're going to use this for a while. These things are just going to use blue viper for because the kind of key. Oh, get out of here, son! Get out of here, son! You can't touch me! Alright, so we got to do this whole thing all over again. Damn, dude. I literally get hit one time, I get murked. Let's get these. You oh my god, get off my grill! Oh my fucking Christ. I literally might need to cut this out. How do I change the, uh... I'm 
I'm literally changing it next episode. This pissed me off. Get out of here. Ratchet and Clank Failure 101. So we gotta get up here without getting absolutely murked. And see? See, the thing I told you was the key to this game is to keep moving, and I'm not moving when I need to move. Red zone home game. Alright, so there we go. Alright. That, was, that wasn't so hard, was it? So EMP that shit. One of your combat bots is incapacitated. Of course Use it is. Revive command to bring him back to life. Press the revive command, dude. Oh, we already got the EMP on this thing. Destruction! I'm out of fucking ammo. Well, that was shitty. Right, so get those and I'll cover you guys. Alright, finally! Holy shit, that took so much longer than it needed to. So let's continue on. I'm just making a run for it because I'm sick of this. I'm sick of this level. It's taking me 12 minutes to do two missions. Alright, so what do we have to do here? Oh, get out of here, son. You can't touch me. Get out. Oh, this is pissing me off. Like, beyond piss off. If it wasn't for these combat bots, I'd literally be toast. Like, I literally never remembered this fucking... This game being this hard. Alright, so the swing shot is pretty much like a slingshot. Your swing shot will deploy automatically and carry you across the gap. Oh, I would have been pissed. I would have been extremely freaking pissed off. Oh... <sighs> Alright, so now we got the Land Stalker. So now we gotta do this thing is get to the arena, which I don't think this one is that hard. Alright, so we got sidestep, fire guns, charge mortars, more release. Alright, so this thing we just gotta hit it with mortars, so we just hold L2 and. We gotta destroy these, uh. That should clear the way. Alright, so this thing this thing is pretty much the most badass thing in the game. Alright, so I keep pressing L2 to charge the mortars when I don't need to. Let's just whoop this thing. Come on, bots. Come on, get destroyed! No, I have not wondered what's in the special sauce. Alright, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh! Alright, I'm just trying to get there now. Come on, sidestep. Jump. Jump. Destruction! Destruction! That is how you do it. Actually, that's not how you do it. I got completely anal whooped. Alright, so this one is pretty easy. Um, all you gotta do is defeat all the zombies, but... As we saw, the zombies were not so easy last time we played. The last two missions ago, they weren't so easy. Alright, right, so this is not so hard. All we gotta do is just really whoop ass with this thing. Get out of here, fools! This ain't no Walking Dead show. I own this place. Alright, we need more zombies! Oh, shit. Alright, 
so we're on round two. You can see the round number up in the by the mini map. And we got a magma cannon upgrade. So we received an impact mod, which it's like it's it knocks back things. Here is some good news. Each time your weapon upgrades, it unlocks a new alpha modification slot for you to use. So we're gonna, we're gonna get some D6 obliterator working here. Now we're gonna get some dual raptors. You might notice I call them the dual vipers sometime. So uh Dual Raptors are the fully upgraded version of the uh, Dual Raptor or the Dual Vipers. See, we have these uh, dinosaur things. I think I said that last episode. Haha! <laughs> that zombie looks like your mama! Alright, so this one is not as hard as I remember. Oh shit, I'm out of ammo! Out of ammo! And we defeated that. That was not so hard. We got a green metal and a hack array. Well done, Ratchet. All right, so we defeated the the regular challenges. Now what there are are there's some uh the new set of objectives called dread some challenges. Dread challenges and defeating dread challenges are the key to survival in dread zone. So as you can see, we get bolts, and if you remember, there's those points. Uh, this is how, these are how you get points, like two hundred thousand. But we don't. But they're we're gonna we're gonna complete them all. I'm gonna do one. Hopefully one plan in an episode. Ratchet will race to beat the clock. Each checkpoint he passes will earn him a few extra seconds. Team Darkstar, get ready to race! Alright, so what you gotta do is you gotta run through all these hoops. So I'm just gonna try and get all these hoops real quick. Come on, baby. This is the one we have to get next for some odd reason. Now it's this one. All right, I'm not good with this hover bike. Trust me. Don't try any of this at home. Go to a friend's house. Go to a friend's house. Just remember that. All right, come on, baby. Almost done. Almost got it! Almost got it! Let's go! Let's go, baby. Oh, baby. Yes, I did it. Alright, so that one, there are more of those, but those definitely get way harder as you go along. So we're going to do, uh, hop on the line, soccer, and destroy as many dread zone enemies and structures as you can before the time runs out. Alright, so this one, this one's fun. I like this one. So we gotta get 61, so we have one right now. I don't know how to destroy that. Your many structures. Alright, so all we gotta do is pretty much just whoop enemies' ass. So there's 61. We already have 26, as you can see. Nothing blown up. Uh, this shouldn't be too hard. There are enemies behind me that I did not see. Uh, we'll get that. These little guys. We already have 35. And the mini-map really helps you out here. Because it shows you where all these enemies are coming from. Look at look at the massive amount that are coming from this way. Where else is other freaking going? Alright, so, come on, baby. Alright, we're at 56, so this definitely is not so... Alright, see, we're at 61. That one was not so hard. And, uh, moments of death. Your mission is to destroy the ancient statue scattered across the battlefield. Each one is protected by a robot corpse, so watch out. Alright, this one's a little bit difficult, if I remember. Alright, so let's grab some ammo here. Um... I could buy the hollow ship, hollow shield launcher, but I definitely don't use it as much. So I'm gonna buy the napalm, and my I'm going to attach it to uh my obliterator because it's like seven thousand times better. You will need to add and remove the mods in order. But as you can see, there are definitely some uh 
There's some mods that you cannot add to weapons. Scroll down to so, like, you cannot add... Well, you can add... To enter the alpha mod well, we can add acid menu. mods, so we're going to add Multiple acid mods. Alpha mods of the same type can be equipped on... So we're going to definitely add acid mods to uh, any Omega our guns mod here. So you cannot add the napalm. Press X to equip it. For some reason... Uh, I don't know why the game did that, but I'm not complaining at all. all right, so these are ancient here statues. You tell your, uh... You have to tell your, uh... Tell your guys to do that while you defend them. And that one goes down real quick. So let's just uh, get out of here. I'm... All right, so where's the next one? Next one's right there, so we gotta get a little, we gotta go a little ways to get that one. Uh, so let's get going. You know, sometimes I think I should have taken that job on Annihilation Nation. They've got a great battle right. plan. All right, this 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 one is definitely harder than I remember. Oh! Zombs everywhere! Oh! Did you see the amount of zombs that just appeared out of there? Holy shit! Out of the ass. So where's the last one? Is the key question. Oh, it's right. It's in there. So we gotta get in there. Let's just destroy that one. Well, it takes about two hits because with the acid mod, uh. You sell the sizzle it's not so hard. hard. Alright, so let's uh, pull out this obliterator, show you the napalm mod. And uh, as you can see, it uh, it leaves uh, uh, lava on the floor. So it definitely helps. Or that uh, if enemies walk through it, they deal. Oh! Oh! Look at that! Look how many of them there are! Oh, I know you saw that. Alright, so we defeated Catacomb 4. Challenges can be completed in any order As you can see, they're all, all the Dread Challenges are done right now. Uh, there's two Dread Challenges on Dread Zone Station, but I'll do that once I go back for the Adventure Tournament, which will be a while. Um, as you can see, a certain amount of plants take a certain amount of metals to to unlock. And the Liberator, there's the Liberator Tournament, there's the Vindicator Tournament. There's five tournaments, or actually there's four, I think. Yeah, there's four tournaments that will upgrade your uh, your status. As you can see, we are a Martyr. We're nothing right now. Adventure turns us into a Martyr. Wait a minute. No, we are a Martyr, but the Avenger Tournament turns us into Avenger. So... I'm gonna end this. I'm gonna end this episode off next time. We will go to Serathos and we will face the challenges of the Leviathan and the alien land of Serathos. So we will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Be sure to hit that sub button and leave a like. See ya.